Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I certainly am because the postman's just come and delivered a very important package indeed. Uh, this last weekend, Arrow Video had a Halloween sale on their website. And usually I wouldn't get too excited about this because I tend to have all of the titles that I already want from various promotions in HMV and other shops. But this time they did mention one thing that was different they had a number of limited edition releases back in stock for whatever reason. Maybe they'd found a few just lying around in the warehouse, I don't know. This intrigued me, so I had a look on there, on the website, not expecting anything too out of the ordinary. I was shocked at what they had. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I've picked up and why I'm so excited. I think you're gonna be excited as well, so let's just get straight into it. Okay, so I've got a big stack of films here and I'm, I, I, I still am lost for words. I can't believe that I managed to pick these particular limited edition sets up. Uh, the first is Videodrome by David Cronenberg. This is a limited edition set that must have come out about two years ago now. And when it came out, I don't even remember seeing it uh, in stores like HMV and Fox. Um, I think you could only get this directly from uh, Arrow via pre-order, so I completely missed this. I did in fact pick up the Videodrome uh, Standard Edition release later on, uh, but yeah, completely missed this at the time, so to see this on Arrow Video's website for their Halloween sale this year was just amazing. And not only that, but they were selling it for recommended retail price, which was £30. So if you wanted to pick up one of these in the last year or so, you were going to probably pay way more than that. So, the, and the fact that it's still shrink wrapped, it's still sealed, is um, just amazing. I do also have the separate edition of David Cronenberg's early works as well, but just to get this nice edition with the, the hard box as well, definitely worth it. So I probably will be getting rid of my standard editions of these two films. Uh, yeah, such a tremendous purchase and I think this went pretty quickly during the Halloween sale. I was very lucky to, to be one of the first people on the website to get one of these. So very, very happy with Videodrome. Next up, this is a film that I hadn't seen up until recently. It was a, a bit of a blind spot in my uh, film appreciation of this director. But after some recommendations from some friends on YouTube, I had to go and see this. And I did, and I loved it. This was a limited edition that came out probably about a year ago now. And again, like Videodrome, it went very quickly from shops. The fact that I was able to get it for recommended retail price, again, it's just amazing. It's The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Dario Argento's uh, feature debut. And this is a tremendous film, a tremendous film because it shows where Argento would go in the future with his filmmaking. It's a brilliant, brilliant giallo. And to get this limited edition set with the booklet is just tremendous. Uh, I've got the standard edition. I picked it up quite recently in the, in the FOP sale for six pounds. So I'll be getting rid of that. But yeah, this was 25 pounds from the uh, Arrow Video website. So happy to have this. It's one of those nice hard cases as well. If you're interested in hearing more about this film, I know a lot of you are probably subscribed to Dice K Beppu's channel. He does a tremendous series of um, videos detailing all of Dario Argento's films. And he goes into a, a really great in-depth analysis of what's going on in this film. And his, his insights are so much better than mine. So if you want to hear more about The Bird with the Crystal Plumage and Dario Argento's work in a much you know, greater depth, uh, go and check out Dice K's channel because it is brilliant. So yeah, very happy to have this and it is going to look great on my shelf. The next of these limited edition box sets that I picked up from the Arrow sale is one I'm not familiar with at all, but the price was super low and it was sweet enough that I just had to get it. Bloodbath. 
I literally don't know anything about this film, so I can't say much about it. This only cost me £7.50, which is what I would pay for any other Arrow title in HMV or FOP if I saw it that low. So I had to jump at the chance to get this. It's not a hard box like Videodrome and Bird with a Crystal Plumage, it's like a soft, a soft cardboard, so that's not as nice. So that's Bloodbath. This next one is also a massive one as well. I was so surprised to see this one. It's The Thing, John Carpenter. This is a masterpiece. I absolutely love The Thing. One of my favorite horror films. Probably one of my favorite films full stop actually. But yeah, this was a limited edition set which I think came out about a year ago from the time of recording this video. And I totally missed this one again. I just, I didn't place a pre-order, stupidly. It's a nice hard box. Um, and this one, this one cost me, I think this one cost £25, or it might have been £20, but still getting this for retail price is incredible because I know on eBay and other secondhand markets, this goes for £40, £50. So to get it sealed, a chance that I had to jump at. I love this film so much. One thing I'd say about this though, I, I really hope that soon Arrow Video jump into the 4K UHD Blu-ray market because a lot of John Carpenter's films now are being released on 4K UHD Blu-ray. Halloween just came out on 4K, uh, Christine just came out on 4K, uh, and Studio Canal are just about to release The Fog, Prince of Darkness, Escape from New York, and They Live on 4K. The Thing is one that we definitely need in 4K, and Arrow also still have the rights to Big Trouble in Little China, so I, I would love to get a 4K UHD release of that. But that has nothing to do with these special edition box sets, it's just a, some wishful thinking of me. The Thing, so happy to have this one. This next one is a limited edition release to 3,000 copies, but it's not a special collector's edition set like these boxes. It's Nikatsu Diamond Guys Volume 2. This is one that I really wanted to pick up for a long time because I'm a big fan of Japanese genre films, specifically crime, gangster, Yakuza films. Uh, Seijin Suzuki in particular is one of my favorite Japanese directors of all time. Um, I don't currently have volume one. Volume one is very hard to get hold of at the moment, but volume two, I got this for 10 pounds, which is a steal for three films. So very happy to have Mikatsu Diamond Guys on volume two. And to round this video off, I have two releases here from a director that I admire because of his prolific nature in filmmaking. If I say that this is a director who has made over 100 feature films, some of you out there probably know who I'm talking about already. It's Takashi Miike, and I have two of his releases from Arrow, the Dead or Alive trilogy and the Black Society trilogy. Takashi Miike is a director who I've seen quite a lot of films of, but like I said, he's made over a hundred feature films, so I've hardly made a dent in his uh, filmography. I picked up each of these for £7.50, which was a complete steal. You get three films for £7.50. For the people who aren't good at maths out there, that's £2.50 a film. That's me putting my uh, degree to good use. These releases also came with slip covers, which I'm not sure if I've ever seen these without slip covers, but to get them with the slip covers was really nice because they will look good on the shelf together. Very happy to have both of these. So that concludes this video on my Arrow Video Halloween website haul. This was a massive surprise to me. I, I didn't anticipate picking up any of these really. So these were very much impulsive purchases, but I think you'll agree with me that these were well worth getting. So if you've liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you've seen any of these films, if you've managed to pick up any of these as well in the sale, because I know some of you out there probably were quite keen-eyed and will have seen uh, Arrow post about this sale. I'll be back with more videos about Arrow Video Blu-rays, Criterion Blu-rays very soon, but until then, have a good time watching lots of these great films.